Hello guys, this is Vivek. Welcome to the 13th tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about ls command. So you might have seen me using ls command at various occasions. ls command you use for listing the files. So when you are in any directory and you just type ls, it will show you the list of directories and files present in that directory. Now there are various switches which can be used along with ls to get different kind of results. So if there are, so there are switches like ls hyphen a <coughs> or ls hyphen l or ls hyphen t, you can also mix multiple switches in one go, something like ls minus l. So let me show you by examples. So let's let's create a hidden file in linux so in, when you want to create a hidden file in linux you should start the file name with a dot so we will create a hidden file called hidden so when you just type ls it won't show you the hidden file but if i type ls minus a that is to show all files it does show various hidden files and along with the one that we just created. So now we, we got this hidden file list as well, but what what to do with that? Like why, why it's needed? Many times you need to edit some files like bash profile or bash history, and it's a hidden file. You won't be able to view that. So you have to use A. Now, if I type ls minus L, it will give me a, give me a long list. It will give me the permissions associated with the file or directory. Uh, don't worry about this. We'll talk about this in one of the future lectures. Then who is the owner? Who has the permission? And when was the last time it was modified? What's the file size? All these details are mentioned here. Now, you see that all these files are listed alphabetically, right? A, D, E, F, L, M, N, P, T, and then V. Now, what if I want to see with the timestamp? So I can type ls minus T. All right. Uh, it's not uh, very clear right here in this particular view, so I'll try to add ls minus LT. <coughs> now, I got the list, long list, and in order of timestamp. So the file which was last modified in this directory will be shown first and which was modified last will be shown last. Now, what if I want to see the results in the reverse order? So I will type ls minus lrt. So the file which was modified last will be shown in the first position and the file which was modified last or the f recently which was modified will be shown in the last position that's how you see that now there are a few other uh, switches which are very which are very useful and you should learn all these switches i would recommend you and encourage you to go and learn yourself by typing ls hyphen hyphen help so it's not a very big document but it's very useful. It's a long list of switches which tell you that what all functionalities are possible using these switches like minus A, caps A, B, C, D, E, uh, I don't have E, F, G, H, and so on and so forth. One another useful LS switch is H. So I will type LS minus L, R, or L, T, H. So instead of showing the file size in bytes, it shows the file size in human readable format. That is, we understand kilobyte or megabyte. So uh, with the file size, it appends K. So this is 4K size. This is all 4K, this is 8.8K. So this is pretty helpful when you're actually trying to analyze the files. So in this tutorial, the motto was to give the idea of using ls command. I will encourage you to go and try yourself and play with it. Thanks for watching this tutorial guys. In next tutorial, I'll show you some commands 
using which you can play with the directories and get, get further information or additional information about the directories. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.